Welcome back to Daily Devotions from Mount Calvary Lutheran Church. My name is Pastor Andrew Howe, and it's a, a joy to, to be here with you to continue our, our journey through the book of Acts. Today I'm going to read uh, the first uh, seven verses or so from Acts chapter 6. We have a unique uh, ministry uh, account going on here in Acts chapter 6, and it kind of sets the tone for uh, church uh, and ministry. And uh, for those of you that uh, will, will read this and, and listen to it, uh, you'll understand that <clears throat> pastors get support. And uh, that's what the, the objective here uh, from Acts chapter 6 was pastoral support. And I'm not talking pastors supporting others. I'm talking lay people that support the pastors. So if you want to join with me, I'm going to read Acts chapter 6 starting at verse 1. Now in these days when the disciples were increasing in number, a complaint by the Hellenists arose against the Hebrews because their widows were being neglected in the daily distribution. And the twelve summoned the full number of the disciples and said, It is not right that we should give up preaching the word of God to serve tables. Therefore, brothers, pick out from among you seven men of good repute, full of the spirit and of wisdom, whom we will appoint to this duty. But we will devote ourselves to prayer and to the ministry of the word. And what they said pleased the whole gathering. And they chose Stephen, a man full of faith and of the Holy Spirit, and Philip, and Prochorus, and Nicanor, and Timon, and Parmenas, and Nicolaus, a proselyte of Antioch. These they set before the apostles, and they prayed and laid their hands on them. And the word of God continued to increase and the number of disciples multiplied greatly in Jerusalem, and a great many of the priests became obedient to the faith. You see, the, the Synod put out a resource a few years ago through the Lutheran Hour, and uh, it was titled something along the lines of, We Are the Church. It was basically a reflection and looking back in history and, and evaluating you know, the, the 1940s, the 1950s, and then into the 1960s, probably was was some of the most uh, uh, largest increases of church membership and church involvement in our synod's history. And uh, basically the Lutheran Hour summarized that the success of those of those three decades was summarized into two points. The pastors working with lay people and lay people working with pastors. You see, that's what we heard in Acts chapter 6. You know, the, the apostles literally uh, responded to uh, uh, a ministry event where the widows weren't being cared for. And they were looking for someone to care for them and to feed them. As uh, it mentioned, the distribution of food as we heard earlier on in the book of Acts. But yet, the apostles were sent by Jesus to proclaim the word of God. That was their primary calling. You know, that's my primary calling too to Mount Calvary is to proclaim the word of God, to proclaim the gospel, the good news, and the works of God through Christ Jesus. And there's all kinds of things that take place during the week, during months, during busy ministry cycles where, you know, there's countless things that come up that have to be done. And I'm not talking about the Word of God, I'm not talking about Bible studies, just little things. Things that uh, need to be addressed. You see, I have to first and foremost give thanks to God for our Mount Calvary congregation. You know, we've all kind of taken on a little bit more in the last several months. And I still have been able to do the primary task of preaching and teaching God's Word. And I wouldn't be able to do that without your support. And I'm not talking financial support. I'm talking prayer support. I'm talking, you know, little jobs and tasks, uh, ser serving tables, as Book of Acts likes to call it. You know, all the different Lenten dinners. I didn't serve one plate of spaghetti or a bowl of chicken noodle soup. You all did that. You know, there were other things like setting up for uh, the outdoor Easter service and, and different things like that. You stepped up to the plate and helped support. 
And so I have to give thanks to God for all the countless ways and uh, all the different ministry boards and, and how you just step up to the plate and have stepped up to the plate. And you, everything that you have done, you have done so that we, the pastors and the ministry staff, can do our primary calling to proclaim God's word and to teach the Christian faith. You know, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for supporting us so that we can do what God has called us to do here. And maybe you're, you're thinking, well, man, I, I really haven't done much, but I'd like to do some more. Well, there's countless ways. We're always looking for volunteers, people that serve, and, and we're getting ready to have more and more ministries resume and start up again. And so there's gonna be an, a number of opportunities, you know, a little bit this summer, and especially as we look towards fall. And everything that we do, we do it together. Lay people support the pastors, and pastors support you. But we're all doing something that God has called us to do, so that we can be the body of Christ in a sin-filled fallen world, and so that we can take the gospel and the word of God to all who need to hear it. Will you pray with me today? Lord Jesus, we thank you for your church. We know that Paul says in, in, uh, in Corinthians that uh, we're all part of the body, but we all have a different function, and I thank you for that. I pray that you would work with, within our congregation. May we all come together knowing that we're looking to connect people to Jesus and to, another, and to one another to serve the world. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Blessings on your day and on your week. Be refreshed in the Word of God.